sell Alex Collins. Alex Collins has documented fumbling issues. He had issues holding onto the ball in college, and now that's translated to the NFL. He had problems last season, and then this year, he's already fumbled twice. And Sunday night's fumble at the goal line against Pittsburgh was a really big one because it spread some fear that he just won't see many goal line touches moving forward. Before fumbling the ball against the Steelers, Alex Collins had been out carrying Buck Allen 5-0, and he had the only target between the two players. After that fumble, and remember, the Ravens were in a positive game script for much of the game. Allen out-attempted Collins 9-6 after the fumble, and he saw two targets to Alex Collins 0. So the Ravens weren't using Alex Collins as much after he fumbled the football. And so far this season, the Ravens have run 12 goal line plays, with 8 of those plays being rushes. Buck Allen has four of those rushes, while Alex Collins has three. After Sunday night, there's very little reason to assume that Alex Collins is going to be the full-time goal line rusher for this Baltimore Ravens offense. Now, a lot of people have noted that Collins doesn't need goal line work to be viable in fantasy football. I don't fully disagree there, but we have to think about sustainability. Collins is not the team's primary pass catching back. Buck Allen is. Buck Allen has 19 targets this year, and Alex Collins has 10 and there's a good chance that he won't be grabbing hold of goal line duties now. So that means that the two most important aspects for running backs in fantasy football, seeing volume through the air and scoring touchdowns, aren't siding with Alex Collins. I just want more upside with my running backs. So if you can flip him for a more stable asset, maybe like a wide receiver, I don't think it's a bad idea right now.